I've heard Spitch here, I'm back already. <laughs> Far too excited by this lovely guitar I've got back. Thanks so much, Lucas. Uh, I, I don't know how it's got the action as low as this, honestly. The action on my Cap 10, which Tom dragged right down to the bottom on that, there's a little bit of buzz here and there, just the nature of, you know, the frets on that and the age of the guitar and some of the nuances. Uh, still lovely, mind you. And this one, I have, I, it's a... Uh, really low and I haven't got a buzz on it yet. Crazy low, and which is great because that's just how I like it. It makes it easier to play, just for me as a beginner. And <laughs> that top hat, what a genius idea. I mean, it's just easier, isn't it, to flick, boink, rather than, oh, it's the uh, volume and tone knobs are in the way. But I've just been having a little play with it. It's got brand new strings on. Thanks again, Lucas, for those. So, perfectly in tune. radius neck feels it's slimmer than a fender telly uh, a bit thicker than a squire this is a, a black star metal pedal
as ever, as you know, I'm a Chapman guitar fan because you get a lot of guitar for your money. Even this thousand pound one over here, sure, there's plenty of things for thousand pound that I'm sure are just as good, but I don't feel like it's not worth a thousand pounds. This I bought used for 235, fair play Lucas, that's kind of the right sort of price for a second on one of these. I think I sold mine for, somewhere for, mine come for 279 on eBay, paid a load of fees, so it came out at about the same sort of price. So yeah, you know, pick up Chapman used standard series guitars for around two sort of 250 tops really. Pay a bit more for something you really like, which is fair enough. Uh, if you buy them new, which I've done, you know, you have to decide, am I going to keep it? If you are, that's fine. But if you're not, if you sell it, then you'll lose some money. But hey-ho. But yeah, you, just, just so good. You know, rolled, rolled frets, tuners that feel every bit like a Fender Mexican. You know, they're not, they're not good, they're not bad. They, you know, they, they do the job. You get uh, tusk nuts or graph you know, graphite nuts on them as well. You get all the belly cuts and carves and you get this sort of high access on the necks that all the guitars are like that. You get pickups on them that are as good as any stock pickups, you know, arguably better on some of them, in my, my opinion, electronics and so on. You just get, you get a lot of guitar for your money. I think they're, you know, they're worth it. So, especially in the used market. Anyway, let me know what you think. And thanks again, Lucas.